I was highly recruited uh, coming out of high school, um, but suffered two uh, broken legs my junior and senior year of high school. I was out of football for a year commentating for ESPN and I just realized how much I miss being around the players and you know the locker room and traveling with them and setting goals and trying to help mentor them through life and the athletic director here Bobby Williams had seen my Delaware team play for three national championships uh, when I was at the University of Delaware he encouraged me to, to come and visit and I came and visited and they decided I'd be a good fit and I became the head coach. And uh, during that time a lot of the uh, college football offers that I had gotten uh, fell off because of those injuries, but Sam Houston and Coach Keeler were one of the only teams that stuck with me through my injuries, so that meant a lot to me, and uh, I'm glad to be here. In, a, in an eight-year period, you know, we won 86 games, which is only behind Ohio State, Alabama, Clemson, and North Dakota State in all Division One football, so in the last eight years, we've won an enormous number of games. This year, we've struggled with some injuries at the quarterback position. Um, it's probably one of the best teams I've had, and I've had um, you know, eight different teams play for national championships. So I've had some pretty good football teams in my, my time. We have just struggled at one position, the quarterback position. Three really talented young men, and all three happened to get injured. I went in in a backup role against uh, UIW, pulled in on his own read play, uh, was running to my left, and got tackled by a linebacker, uh, and just rolled my ankle real bad. I originally, thought it was just a sprain. Uh, we think that's what it is. I've been getting better and better. Hopefully this bye week helps me really uh, take that extra step and I can finally be uh, fully healthy and feel like myself again out there. Uh, Mike Dare hurt his hip and got hip surgery. Um, Ty had, has had an ankle and Eric Schmidt um, broke his hand. You know, until last weekend, it just kind of made me feel less comfortable in the pocket because when I'm fully healthy, I know I can get out of the pocket be myself if you know if I if everybody's covered downfield uh, I always have that option to run uh, playing through injuries the past couple weeks it's my injury has limited my ability to run um, obviously I felt a lot better this past weekend uh, and hopefully I will uh, I'll feel much better moving on but I think the biggest thing is just not being mobile uh, after Eric threw for 531 yards, and I think he was the National Player of the Week, and then 11 plays into the McNeese game, he breaks his hand, and Ty was already injured with an ankle, and we had to get Ty to get back out there and, you know, kind of manage the moment, and, and Ty played, you know, well enough to get us a win, which on the ankle he was playing on was pretty impressive. When I was forced to go in in the McNeese game, I was not expecting to play that game, didn't practice at all that week, uh, had been in a boot all week, actually. Um, and then Eric got hurt, broke his hand. The guy, the, especially the offensive line, I think, stepped up and knew, hey, Ty can't move. We have to do everything we can to make sure he's safe back there. And uh, I think they, they saw the, the pain that I was in playing through, uh, and I think that, uh, that meant a lot to them. And uh, I think they did a great job of giving me everything they had. At the very beginning, I felt kind of like, Oh gosh, this is up to me now. Uh, but you know, at, at the same time, I started to think, hey, j you got to do what you got to do. I mean, go out there. It's it's still the same game. Go out and do your job. Yard penalty, but I will punish myself on Sunday. Yeah. We just talk about managing the moment. You know, you only can control the controllables, and you can't control the fact that we've had you know this injury bug at the quarterback spot. Even our two freshmen. One has gotten a knee surgery, one's had a hamstring. So having five scholarship quarterbacks and having all five come up with injuries and having the rest of the team relatively healthy. I mean, our strength program's phenomenal. We've done a great job keeping healthy everywhere else. It's just been the quarterback position with an ankle, a knee, a hamstring, a broken hand, a hip. It's been something different everywhere. So it's been frustrating, but at the same time, I think our kids have done a, a pretty good job managing, you know, the moment and, and trying to, you know, we've gotten some pretty good wins, you know, beating 
uh, number nine and Nichols here playing wide receivers at quarterback and, and trying to mix some things up. And uh, so we've, we've managed the moment pretty well. We, we need to finish the season off right now. If we do, we'll make the playoffs. And I think if we make the playoffs, I think I have a pretty good football team. I like our chances to, to make some damage. Uh, we have an amazing training staff. Um, I'll be in here before practice, after practice, and then again in the afternoon doing all types of different treatments. I mean, Dustin and Megan do a great job with us. There's not other schools that have a better training staff than us. They do a great job. Well, you know, we, we've been blessed. You know, I, we, we have four NFL players uh, out of this program the last four years. You know, Lachlan Edwards is starting punter for the Jets. Um, Davion Davis is with the Minnesota Vikings and actually is on the roster. Uh, Derek Roberson is with the, um, is with the Titans. And, uh, you know, P.J. Hall was a second round draft choice by the Oakland Raiders. So one of the great things about this place is we have a great location. All the NFL scouts come through here. Every NFL team probably has been through here represented. Uh, Woody, uh, we have a great long snapper. We have a couple offensive linemen. So there's four or five guys that, that, that they're looking at. And they'll do a pretty in-depth evaluation when the season's over to decide, you know, what level of interest they do have. But that's one of the great things about the kind of players we get. Usually we'll get one or two players into NFL camps every year. Hey, 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 hey.